ozone depletion in the stratosphere. In the atmosphere, ozone exists in two forms, good ozone and bad ozone. Bad ozone formed in the lower atmosphere, troposphere, that harms plants and animals. There is good ozone also. This ozone is found in the upper part of the atmosphere, called the stratosphere, and it acts as a shield absorbing ultraviolet radiation from the sun. UV rays are highly injurious to living organisms since DNA and proteins of living organisms preferentially absorb UV rays and its high energy breaks the chemical bonds within these molecules. The thickness of the ozone in a column of air from the ground to the top of the atmosphere is measured in terms of Dobson units, du. Ozone gas is continuously formed by the action of UV rays on molecular oxygen and also degraded into molecular oxygen in the stratosphere. There should be a balance between production and degradation of ozone in the stratosphere. Of late, the balance has been disrupted due to enhancement of ozone degradation by chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs. CFCs find wide use as refrigerants. CFCs discharged in the lower part of atmosphere move upward and reach stratosphere. In stratosphere, UV rays act on them, releasing chlorine atoms. Chlorine degrades ozone, releasing molecular oxygen, with these atoms acting merely as catalysts. Chlorine atoms are not consumed in the reaction. Hence, whatever CFCs are added to the stratosphere, they have permanent and continuing effects on ozone levels. Although ozone depletion is occurring widely in the stratosphere, the depletion is particularly marked over the Antarctic region. This has resulted in formation of a large area of thin ozone layer, commonly called as the ozone hole. UV radiation of wavelengths shorter than UVB are almost completely absorbed by Earth's atmosphere given that the ozone layer is intact. But UVB damages DNA and mutation may occur. It causes aging of skin, damage to skin cells and various types of skin cancers. In human eye, cornea absorbs UVB radiation and a high dose of UVB causes inflammation of cornea called snow blindness, cataract, etc. Such exposure may permanently damage the cornea. Recognizing the deleterious effects of ozone depletion, an international treaty known as the Montreal Protocol was signed at Montreal, Canada in 1987, effective in 1989, to control the emission of ozone depleting substances. Subsequently, many more efforts have been made and protocols have laid down definite roadmaps separately for developed and developing countries for reducing the emissions of CFCs and other ozone depleting chemicals.